God, the second one wasn't as good. No, so you can't. Fuck. You can't. I think you gotta like, like it's gotta be like the fingers to palm. Is that it? Yeah. You put a lot of research into I this. Put in a lot of. I put in a lot of work. Okay. Now, all now the, we're rolling. All the things that don't matter. Uh, what what were we talking about? Oh, the okay. Wait. Okay, a lot of. Uh, for those that listen often, there's a lot of talk about pre-pod, then there's pod, then there's post-pod. Okay. We had one of the best pre-pods I've ever had. Pre-pods? Pre-pods. Oh, we just before that? Yeah, no, we did. The content you were spewing. You're just a faucet of content. Because <laughs> my life is a fucking gong show. Yeah, why do you think you're over <laughs> here, Drew? <laughs> I knew it right when I like walked into this nice-ass part of the city, like the, the financial district. Yeah, 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 you got it. I was, I was like, I'm never... I'm never here much, sir. <laughs> you like called your mom. You're like, Ma, I made it to the mom, city. Mom, I'm here. I'm where you were. <laughs> she, what, what, what does she, that mean? Did she die in no, 9-11? She's, uh, she, was, uh, she is in finance. And she, oh, there yeah, you go. She owns like a multi-million dollar company on Wall Street. Hold the phone. You come from money? I come from money, yeah. Yo! <laughs> but Did like, not expect that. But that's why I would say that's probably why I'm like a piece of shit because it's like... I mean, not even a piece of shit, but just like, you know, I just can't get my shit together. Because I feel like when people, when they come for money, they're like, oh, I can just do whatever when I want to do it. I can do whatever whenever. And then it's like you grow up like that, and then you hit 30, and you're like, oh, Jesus Christ. Then you're like, yeah, you got to start going to Long Island Mike. Yeah, <laughs> you got to no, start no. going to the city. <laughs> I was like, I have, to, I have to stop doing that. Wait, where did you grow up? Because I thought you were a real fucking trash kid. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> No, I grew up in Merrick. Is Merrick not a little trash? So Merrick is a town that they have money, but they act like fucking complete trash bag really? assholes. Really? Okay, this is news to me. Which is weird because like they drive nice cars, there's nice houses, they have nice clothes, everything's nice. Yeah, a lot of Jews. Yeah, but mm. you know, nice bars, nice restaurants, you know, the whole thing. Um, but yeah, no, just like the people, they're just like fuck you. They're they're real. Do you say nice bars? What's a nice bar? Okay, maybe not in Merrick, but around the okay. area, like Belmore. the Belmore Merrick area. Yeah, I know. Yeah, there's dive bars, but there's also nice, you know, like sit down places and stuff. Okay, they have a grill. It's not yeah. just a bar; it's a bar <laughs> <Yes>. and grill. <laughs> it's okay. I'm never coming back on here again. <laughs> yeah, we just started walking. <laughs> but um, yeah, no, it's it's uh, it's it's a definitely a, a specific. It's like a subculture of its own, I would say. Just Merrick itself, or the South Shore of Long Island. Or Long Island. South Shore and then Merrick. Mm. But I think Long Island is just one of those places where they're like, like all the towns are pretty similar, but they're just like, nah, that town's fucking trash. That town sucks. Yeah, that's yeah. how I know you're fucking trash is when you think they're all kind of the same. Yeah, it's like, we're, yeah, we are. I'm like, really? What's different about Belmore Merrick? Like, nah, it's fucking, that place sucks. I'll be honest. I thought Belmore Merrick was the name of the town until like it's, senior year of high school. It's like the... Um, uh, like the sporting, I guess like the sporting teams are like when you start off as like a little kid in sports, it's like Belmore Merrick and then they break up in like three high schools, which is retarded. Stupid. I don't know why they do that. What did your hat say? I don't know. If it was, I would, you, you don't know? The collective. The collective. Okay. It was a, um, it was a, I did a show. It was like a summer festival and they were an improv group. The collective. The collective. Okay. And they just gave me a hat. And I was like, thanks. And I, they took the Sopranos. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> An improv group took the Sopranos I logo. Thought, it was funny because I thought the, the show, like the comedians did really well. I thought the improv was going to do really well. And I was like, this is a, a death sentence mm. for comedians. Like, you know when you go into a room, you're like, ooh, this is going to. It was a room or an outdoor setting. Outdoor setting. That's and I good. was like, this is going to be bad. Yep. Like, this is not for comedy. Yep, yep, this yep. is for like something goofy like improv. And then they went up and were just. I mean, the hope yeah, they, they they'll probably see this. Who cares? Okay. But, yeah, fuck, okay. but fuck um, you. yeah, thanks for the free hat, schmuck. But uh, <laughs> yeah, it could have been a little bit better. <laughs> yeah, but um, yeah, they, they didn't do well, but all the comedians did well, and I was like, oh, okay. okay, all right. Well, that's improv. That's improv. Yeah. Yes, and yes, and yes, and that's 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 the. That's that's the format. We're really trying to bounce around you coming from money. Let's go back to that because oh, it's truly shocking. Oh boy. What did you? Yeah, because nothing about you is fancy. No, it's not. I'm not a fancy guy. You're not a fancy guy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a fancy guy. No, man. you're a real like. Uh, you're like a guy that likes a soft pretzel on the street. I feel like. I, I'll enjoy a soft pretzel on it's the street. Not bad, right? It's, it's not really bad. Good. Yeah, I, I'll eat. No, I'll eat. I'll eat nuts for nuts. 
fuck out of oh, here. Oh, you'll do that? I will do that. Okay. They got coconuts now, too. They got coconut strips. Wait, wait, wait. They got coconut strips? Like, like they, the nuts It's like nuts, coconut chunks, nuts. and they dip them in the... Mm, I don't know how I feel about that. I'm telling you, man. Oh. There's a lot of things that you're missing out on. You're really keeping on top of the R&D yeah. they're doing <laughs> at the Nuts for Nuts company. <laughs> it's uh yeah I'll, I'll eat uh how often are you eating nuts for nuts for, for you to a, know that they're doing coconut not a, enough to know i actually haven't had it in a while okay but when i first started coming to the city i'd be like this is great <laughs> okay yeah, yeah, yeah that's a real long island thing <laughs> this is great there's none of this around me <laughs> i'll do this so you come back and your parents are like you know travis came back he had the nuts for nuts yeah they'll tell their friends yeah then my dad would be like oh i love them and i'm like all right dad all right, slow down. relax dad you seem like a guy that loves like a Mexican food truck. I just I love Mexican food, oh. but not Mexican food. Eh, I mean, I guess. Are you out on food trucks? I won't eat halal off a food truck. Yeah, but that, that's because of their religion. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, clip me. it. <laughs> Get somebody from another religion to make that, and I'm yeah. not only <laughs> Get an Italian to make this halal. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. I want an Italian making this. Um. Yeah, I mean, I guess, dude, honestly, I would try anything. Literally anything. Okay. I don't think there's, like, one thing that I'm just like, ugh, gross. You ever have escargot? No, but I would have it. Really? Yeah, right? I'm really doubting how much money you grew up with. Yeah, right? Your mom owns a, a company? Yeah. What does that mean on Wall Street? Like a trading she is like, a, What does that she's mean? She's a, uh, a financial advisor. Mm. So she started a company. She actually just sold it. Congrats. Yeah, sold it. And then, uh, so now it's like, I forgot the name of it now, but it's like, there's a, I think it's like Atlanta Capital Group. Like sure. They own it. And then, uh, but she worked out some fucking deal where it's like, she has like, like she can just kind of like put her hands in it whenever she wants and they still have to pay her a certain amount and they fucking hate her. They're like, listen, we bought it from you. Like, get the fuck out of here. It's our company now. And she's like, nah, it's not. Okay. And they're like, all right, well, we'll just fire you. And then like... It's so pretty much like Wall Street, the way it's working right now. I feel like a lot, you know, correct me if I'm wrong. A, a, a lot of things are working on like an algorithm, right? Like people aren't really like yes, person. Yeah, yeah. yeah, quant traders they're called. Write yeah. this down, folks. Yeah, he knows. And then, uh, so I guess like she's kind of like the old school way of trading and stuff. Mm. And so like, I guess there's like just people with old money and they'd rather do it that way. And they don't trust the computer. Yeah, they don't, they don't trust it. And then so... You know, this Atlanta Capital Group is like, well, we'll just kick you out. And she, she's like, well, if you kick me out, you lose like billions of dollars. Like, all oh, my clients will jump. And then all the clients were like, yeah, no, we will jump. And oh, then, wow. So she's kind of she's kind of got them by the balls. Okay. So Shout like, out Mrs. Grant. <laughs> yeah, no, she's a, she's a Tyrannosaurus Rex. It's a tough lady. And then, so you decide, you're like, all right, I'm in my, I've, I have a family business that does very well in finance. <laughs> I'm going to be. Let me... Post clips of me doing BJJ at 2 p.m. <laughs> on a Tuesday. <laughs> Yo, those are cool clips. <laughs> Yo, no doubt about it. <laughs> He's a black belt. I am. I am. I took saw a, the video. You get, what's going on with... It's a tradition with the belt slap. So you don't do that when you're... A, you don't do that when you get your black belt. Your black belt, oh. you just give like a speech. And just like, you know, hey, thanks for everyone who you helped me out. Speech? Yeah, you give yeah, a speech. Yeah, that's a lot. Yeah, but it's like you do it long enough. You, you wouldn't know, dude. You wouldn't know. <laughs> That's true. All right. <laughs> no, but um, yeah, the belt slap. So I got my blue belt upstate, and they didn't do that at that school. Wait, I just, what? I just got, I started jujitsu up in college. Where'd you go to college? Uh, this community college near Syracuse. I was going out with a girl who oh, went. Daga? Yes. You went to OCC? I did. I did. Mm. And I had a girlfriend who was going to Syracuse at the time. And we were trying the long distance thing and it didn't work. And I was like, all right, I'll move up there for you. And uh, I just wanted to leave my town also. So I was like, good. This will be Let me move to an Indian reservation where it's always cold. Dude, Indian res we'll get we'll circle back to that. That okay. an Indian res an Indian res is wild. It's tr literally lawless. Wild. It's yeah. actually lawless. So like the low yeah, we'll get into it now. Okay. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> the lowest ranking like official that could come and check something out like if the law is broken is a, is a is a marshal which like really yeah so like if you fuck around at like an any reservation bar and they're like all right this fucking white like dude they hate white people that's a deep i wonder why that's a deeply bred hate and uh so if you fuck around like they're like oh we'll just fucking off this white boy like and we'll just bury him in the street we'll like tar him in the street and you'll never be seen again but they're so good at lacrosse 
scary good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, they invented the sport. I know. They fucking that's it, it was like them and Nassau Community, which was like the best junior colleges. And you happen to go to both, and you don't play lacrosse. I don't. <laughs> okay, I don't. I good. don't. Uh, I did a little bit in college, uh, high school, but okay. like whatever. Um, but yeah, no, and like that was the craziest thing. I tried to hook up with a Native American stripper. Because <laughs> I was I was 21 okay. and I had never went to strip clubs before, so it was like a new thing to me. You're still with the girlfriend or not with the girlfriend at the time? We had just broken up. Yeah, right. so we just broken up. So I'm newly single. I'm 21. I was like super ripped. I'm like good, the, living on an Indian reservation. Yeah, I'm just like I'm a hot young white guy. Yeah, living on an Indian reservation, and uh, and then so I'm like I'm just going to strip clubs, and I was like my goal was to hook up with a stripper because I was just dumb. And, yeah, 20, yeah, yeah. and 21 You still would do it though uh, Right now I don't know That's that's a, little, that's a risky move dude. Okay but <laughs> I know your wife Alright <laughs> <laughs> And um So Yeah so I I think like Their boss Tells them Like listen Do not exchange numbers With people who come here Which Rightfully Good rule Rightfully so It's an overall good move That's a pretty say, that's, that's a pretty good rule Yeah 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 and, um, but I guess, you know, like they could tell I wasn't like a bad guy. I was just like a fucking kid. Yeah. And then, but they still like a lot of people, they were like, nah, I'm not giving you my number. But I finally got one chick's number That's how you and do she it. was a native American stripper. And then, so she like brought me to, she was like, she always wanted me to buy her things. And I was like, I'm not, she's like, buy me this dress. And I was like, I'm not buying you this dress. And buy me the, buy me a new car. And I was like, I don't know what money you think I have. Like, <laughs> yeah. like I'm 21. Like I'm 21 at a community college. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like, what do you even think? But she like, and then I remember one time she was like, come over to my house. And I came over to her house. She, she was lived in one of those like really big old houses. It was I like you a, were gonna say a wigwam. It, no, it was. <laughs> she lived in a wigwam. It was. Uh, it was like a three story, super old house. It was like beaten up, and I I went. It looked like a haunted house, like a tremendous haunted house. Okay. And I went there, and it was just like pandemonium. They're like, it was like twenty five people living in this fucking house. Okay, there's like kids running around with no clothes on. There's like an uncle with no pants smoking bongs on the couch. He's like, "Well, my room's on the third floor." I'm like, "I got to go through two more floors of this." Jesus, I was like, "Jesus Christ, <laughs> just give me the." And I got to a room, and it was just like. Like ripped up carpet everywhere. I was like, I actually got a, I have a test. And she's like, oh, I thought you didn't care about school. I was like, oh, I do today. <laughs> <laughs> I did it until I saw your uncle's pants off <laughs> smoking <laughs> he, a peace pipe. He was just like, huh? I was like, oh, God, Christ. Like, it was it was rough. Okay. I was like, this is Indian reservation. This is lunacy. And <laughs> it's <was> lunacy. <laughs> Wait, so when did you leave? I left. Uh, I was only there for two years. Two, two and eight, whatever, however long. I didn't go to I didn't go to college to do schoolwork. I went there just to like. Party. Oh, that's very clear. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. I went there to just party and have a good time. Okay, that's what I that's what I was doing. Did you party at the school? Because it sounded like you partied everywhere but the school. Yeah, well, it's a community college. So there really wasn't there weren't m many parties. You know what I mean? Like okay. The, it was like. Like here's a good party. Like they had, they threw like you know, like a good party's a ten. They threw about like a five. Okay, and that's not bad though. Yeah, like on a weeknight, it was like all right, fine, we can do this. Okay, you know, you know what I mean? It was cool. But um, but then you had to wake up for practice. Now I was like, because I, I was, I I always had practice. So I was like, okay, if I have during the week, I'll go out to like a low key party. So, Wait, uh, practice? Where are we practicing? Jujitsu. I, I would compete in jujitsu. You're competing in jujitsu for the community college? No, no. no. I, the, the community college, I was, I was on like a club team, which was like stupid and bullshit. Okay. But um, I was on a separate jujitsu team at the same time. Okay, in Syracuse. In Syracuse. Okay. Yeah. So anyway, that's where I got my blue belt. I got it up there. Okay. And then, so they didn't do this slapping ceremony. So then I come back home and I get my purple belt here, okay. and they're like, "Oh, you gotta do the slapping ceremony." I was like, "The fuck is that?" And they're like, "Well, we form like a line, and then you gotta crawl through the line. Everyone hits you with their belt. It's like a thick cloth belt." So I was like, "Yeah." So I was like, "All right, I mean, how bad could that be?" So I'm I'm downstairs. I put my belt away. I'm getting ready for it, and I just hear like, <laughs> like through the ceiling, and I was like, "What in the fuck is that?" And they're just like that's the that's the slapping ceremony. I was like, someone else went through it before you. Yeah, like they start, they already started it, and they were like, well, you got to get up there. And I was like, all right. And I went up there, and like, I can take a fair amount of like pain. Like I've been through some shit. Yeah, dude, I was passed out. I was like, you got the so pretty much like everyone like lines up on either side, and they just form like a tunnel. Yeah, and you got to just bear crawl through the tunnel and back. But there's like. 
200 people on that team. And they're just, boom, 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 boom. It, it, dude, it hurts so bad. Like, horrible. It hurts so fucking bad. And then, well, I have so many questions. Yeah, ask away. <laughs> what time of day is this? Oh, it's the middle of the day. <laughs> middle of the day on like during the week. Uh, no, it was sad. They do it on Saturdays. Oh, they do it on Saturdays. Yeah, okay. Yeah. I thought 200 people on Long Island are like, I got to call in sick. <laughs> Yo, fuck work. I gotta go beat the hell out of somebody. Yeah, I gotta with think a belt. of hey boss. I gotta think of vacation day. Travis got his purple belt. <laughs> honey, it's for the wrestling. Okay, I'm a wrestler, honey. Okay, so that's relieving that people are already. It was already the weekend. Yeah, no, it's a weekend. And 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 some people are like sick, sadistic. Fuck. Some people are like, oh, today's the day, and they like live for it. Is this a Renzo Gracie situation? Uh the school is called Soka. Soka's Soka's Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. Soka's Brazilian. Soka Jiu-Jitsu. Brazilian Jiu Jitsu Academy. Okay. It's in Wanto. Oh, okay. Wanto. Okay. I like yeah. it. I like it. Yeah, Trash Town. Totally different from America. The <laughs> Wanto little Trash Town. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, what was I going to say? Uh, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, not related to Brazilian Steakhouse. No. I mean, what? <laughs> <laughs> like, so did they. Are they in the cahoots? Is there like some like do they do a steakhouse dinner some nights? Like that's what I'm trying to figure uh, out. No, but a lot of Brazil because you know they're they're Brazilian people. They go to the Brazilian steakhouse. There's a one. There's one down the road called Car- Carvalho's. Sure. And um and yet it, it's uh, they're fantastic. Oh, Fogo de Chao, I love it. Fogo, Fogo de Chao is great too. Oh my god, they just opened one. Not just, but they opened one in uh, yeah by the mall by Fogo, the Roosevelt yeah. Mall. That's the one. It's like you could see it when you're on. The Northern State, or like yes. going towards the Northern State, the Meadowbrook. Yes. Yeah, you see that sign. Yeah, oh it's my tr- God. it's fucking tr- it's nice in there too. Oh f- yeah, that's yeah. pretty. I 100 percent agree. That's a little trash. That's a little trash. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh man, dude, I'm fucking. Tra- Where did you come from, Mister Fancy Man? Raised by an NYPD cop in Syosset. So maybe that's why you were like, I'm not being. I can't be this. You were like, well, I wasn't allowed to be that. They really pushed me to be a gym teacher. Really? Oh yeah. I could. I could see you a gym teacher. I would. Fuck. If money didn't matter to me, <laughs> if money didn't matter, I my dream would be to. Uh, be a defensive <laughs> line coach in Texas. Really? Yes. You you you're, you like football? I not that much, but I love Texas high school culture. Okay. Yeah, that's that's it's another subculture of its own. Oh, Friday Night Lights. That's a fucking that's a real deal thing. Oh, the whole town shuts down. Our towns they don't no one gives a fuck about no, high school football. Uh, yeah, high school football. It, 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 it's Long Island's lacrosse. Yeah, and, like, and, and wrestling. Even that, and wrestling. Yeah, so it's like it's a big wrestling school. Yeah, uh, but like Texas, they will like, they have all this tax money, and they're like, we could fix the wells in town, or or put a roof on the stadium. Give yeah, and the whole town's like the roof on the stadium yeah. <laughs> makes the most yeah, we, sense. And like they know the players. Like we got Tanner playing this weekend. You go they, to a bar. Oh, a you Tanner's to a small Texas barber shop. No, wait, wait, you, wait, you, I saw it. So I see the hat. Were you just in Texas? I went a few months ago. Okay, yeah, nice. Yeah. I was just in New Orleans. Kind of similar vibes. I'm, I'm planning. Yeah, that like you yeah, know. Yeah. I'm planning. Like I want to do shows down there and just be there as a person. Like I just want to like see that. Austin wasn't the true Texas, Texas experience. Yeah, I want the true. Yeah. True, true, true. I want to know. I want to be submerged. I want to go to San Texas. Antonio and eat an enchilada with a fat woman. That's yeah. what I want to do. Or just be like a drunk idiot at a barbecue place and just be like, uh, and be like man, I'm, i got to loosen my belt. <laughs> right. Just have a gun on me. I don't even need to, sh- I don't even need to shoot yeah. it. I just want it on me. I feel like if I go to Texas, I'll be consumed by Texas you might. so fucking much. I mean, I'm already trash. Yeah. I'm already pretty trash. And I'm I'm open to just new things, and they just they love it. It's so much Texas pride. So much Texas pride. I'd be like, I'll buy a white fucking Doug Dimmadome, Dimdale Dimmadome hat. I'll do that. No, I don't think they would let you buy a cowboy hat. You don't think so? No, nah, I don't think you could look like you and sound like you and buy a cowboy <laughs> yeah. hat. Thanks for the cowboy hat. Yeah, you're like you're like <laughs> Long Island Matthew McConaughey. <laughs> <laughs> that, I mean, all right, I'll take it. No, I'll that's a that's a compliment. But yeah. you, can't, you know, you do you do sound like. Me, yeah, you know, yeah. that's not good. It's um, yeah, no, it's I've tried. Like, I don't think I sound that bad. Yeah, you do though. I do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I get drunk or angry. Drunk is that I'm like, oof. Even I catch on to it. Like, if I'm drunk in the city, I'm around people from just I don't know, like New. Yeah, there's a lot of 
transients from other places. No, in I thought you were say transgender. Oh, yeah, that's oh, it. Boy. But uh, yeah, just like people from like New Hampshire, like just in the comedy scene. Like yeah, I'm okay, not from yeah, yeah, here. Yeah, I'm from another state. Right. And then I'm talking to them, and I'm just drunk, and I'm just like, yeah, like, it gets notches worse. Uh, I'm like, oh, I sound very Long Island. I do the same thing. I I've, I've Learn to like <laughs> recheck in on myself, and I'll try to, and I'll try to sound a little better. You're pretty good at it. I could code switch. Yeah, you yeah, could. Yeah, yeah. You could switch. Like you're, yeah, you're you're a guy that's good in a pinch. Ah, uh, but the thing, especially like stand up. Mm. Last night I was at the stand. They fuck like they loved it. I could have yeah. said anything. Yeah, I could have read the terms can. and conditions of Apple, and they would have been like this. Fuck <laughs> I was in DC uh, a couple weeks ago, and they were fucking same thing. They love it. They were just like, even when I was like, "Oh, what the fuck's going on?" I was like, "Bah!" And I'm like, "This is gonna make it sad." Because they don't think it's real. It's almost not. It's, it's o- almost not. It's almost not. It's almost not. But it is. It's theirs, and it's funny because like I'll bump into some people. Who was that? I was talking to somebody like a New York comic. She's not from New York, but she was like, "She's like, you're just the most New York fucking person, Long Island." guy that i've ever met and i'm like honey you've never even i'll i'll bring my friend from high school here that's just he he digs graves at a graveyard and he's just like a recovering heroin addict and he's like who do you decide to surround yourself with <laughs> he's a great guy he's things nice, are starting to make sense he's a nice guy but he's just a fuck he's he's like six four like just his big enormous dude he's been fired from two other graveyard jobs <laughs> and he just started his third one and i'm just like i'm like I t- i've been trying to make it a bit but i'm just fucking i don't know um i'm just like dude like again like they gave you another shot like <laughs> i was like yeah it's what they fucking do it's a graveyard no one's lined up to dig graves i'm like well you're right about that what the, how do you get fired that's why i asked him i was like what happened he's like they're complaining i'm drunk on the job all the time i'm like dude like you worked the overnight at a graveyard <laughs> like they will they will go to look see the grave they're like it's yeah. a circle yeah <laughs> it's, yeah, it's we a hexagon just i don't know fucking, yeah. Yeah, he gets more sophisticated <laughs> as he gets no, drunk. one per grave one per grave like i was just dumping them all in one hole <laughs> <laughs> he was like he sends Snapchats of him like just bumping like I don't know like just bi like Biggie just fucking putting caskets in holes. And he's like, everyone be grateful you don't live a long life. And I'm like, dude, the fa- the guy's family is like right there. Like, <laughs> yeah, it's like during the ceremony. Yeah, he's, like, just like, like blast and respect by Big. I'm like, what do you do? Turn it down, God. Yeah. Okay, so that who. What other hoodlums are you with? Oh, dude, I I, I hang out with. Hoodlums. Well, first of all, you host a podcast with a guy that dresses like a pirate. Yeah, <laughs> and he also I've met him a handful of times. He acts like he's not dressed like a pirate. No, he he's full to his guns. He's like, nah, it's, it's not wrong. With this. He walks in like uh, someone in a suit walks into a bank. It's crazy because like you meet him, you're like, this guy's crazy. Like when I first met him, I was like, this guy's nuts. And then I talked to him, I'm like, oh, he's actually like a pretty nice guy. I'm like, why do you even gotta? I'm not here to tell you he's yeah. not nice. Yeah, no, he's probably <laughs> the nicest guy in the world. He dresses like a pirate oh, he and does. doesn't acknowledge it. He's full goth. It's not goth. It's he's it's a pirate. pirate. Who you think if he? Yeah, no, well, the, the 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 bandana is is. Yeah, it's yeah, either yeah, he's either a pirate or playing the saxophone in the E Street band. <laughs> but then he has he has eyeliner. The eyeliner that teeters it a little more on the goth side. Pirate. <laughs> what are you talking Pirate. about? Pirate. Jack Sparrow. Eyeliner. Hey, guy sticking to his guns. Okay, so you, <laughs> you hang out with uh, Pirate Steve and uh, the guy that digs graves. Yeah. Who else is in the crew? Um. So the dig grave, that's like my high school crew. That's the guy. Okay. Yeah. Something tells me he worked at Carvel at one time. No, he worked at a supermarket, like just cleaning floors. Gotcha. And then he's like, I got a new gig. And we're like, oh, see, he's like, it's a town gig. And we're like, well, we saw that coming. Wait, it's a town gig? Yeah, well, he, he, like, he's like on the town. So he's maybe that's why he keeps jumping from, he gets fired from one graveyard. Yeah, and the town's like. Union. Yeah. He's just like, he's just like a big, dumb, hard worker. And Long Island loves 
big dumb hard workers. Yeah, yeah. They love that. Like the Knights of Columbus, they're like, we gotta get these retards jobs. Like, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's true. They put the real retards in the supermarkets doing the cash register. So and I, they put the not legit <laughs> retards in the graveyards. So here's a kind of a crazy story. Um, this is before he he cleaned up his act a lot. It, it, you know, there's still remnants like, oh, you were cra-, like we were. Whatever. Yeah, yeah, he's in his 30s at a graveyard. I, yeah, I understand yeah, what's yeah, going yeah. on. But the 20s were <sighs> what a wild. Time. So we, I remember one night, we so pretty much on Long Island, they had these things called the Republican meetings. Yes. And it's pretty much just like the town of Hempstead hosts it. Yeah. And then they're like, hey, you have, you know, here, it's like a job fair, essentially. You know what I mean? Like, hey, you can do this, you can do that. Like, just people who need a job, and that's, you know. I didn't know that. This is news to me. Yeah, the, I didn't know. He told me about it. He, oh, okay. He's like, I'm, you know, I'm a member at the Republican Club. I can get you in. And I was like, I'm not looking for a town oh, job. Boy. It's a whole thing. So one night we went out, and we were drinking, and it just became, we were like, I don't know, mid-20s. And it became one of those nights where, like, we're drinking, we're doing blow, we're up to like eight in the morning and we're still doing blow and yeah. we're just zonked. Just taking shots of whiskey, just uh, I did one of those crazy nights. Okay. And he's like, Oh shit, I'm late for the Republican meeting. And I'm oh. like, I'm like, Well, you can't go. Like, look at us. And he's like, Nah, we're gonna go, you're gonna come. And I was like, dude, I'm not going to the Republican meeting. And he's like, You're gonna come. So like I went. We go there, fucking who's the um who's the town of Hampstead supervisor? <laughs> Tana yeah. Hempstead, I don't know. I'm an oyster bacon. So like the main Tana Hempstead supervisor is there. And he's like, let me, int- let me introduce you to him. And I'm like, do not introduce me to him. All right. And I go over there and I'm just like, hey, thanks for having me. And he's like, all right. It was the most embarrassing moment of my life, dude. <laughs> it's the most embarrassing moment. Did you get a job? No, maybe I did. I don't remember. <laughs> and then I think he he sent us out because it was like it was like local elections, like it was like around the, that time. And he sent us out and he gave us flyers. He's like, go go to people's doorsteps and just hand out the flyers and tell them to vote Republican. And I was like, all right, I'm zonked. I'm gonna be honest with you, guy. I think you could save the money on the flyers. <laughs> I was like, you don't want I me. Think out. They're already doing it. I was like, you don't want me out in the field. <laughs> And he's like, you got it. Like you, I remember that part. He's like, you got it, kid. And I was like, okay. And so me, the kid, my friend, yep. grave digger friend, and somebody else, a team of three, we go out and we're handing these flyers out. Okay. And I'm going door to door like, don't forget to vote Republican. So this is like immediately after. This is immediately after. Okay, so you're not sleeping. No. I'm, sh- I'm, I'm coming to these people's doorsteps, zonk-eyed, and I'm sweating out whiskey, yes. handing out Republican flyers. And they're like, dude, you should have seen the looks on these people's faces. They were terrified. I thought you were going to say jealous. No. <laughs> <laughs> they were like, like, almost just like, yeah, fine, just leave it on the fucking stoop. Yeah, all right. I was like, dude. And then so we had to go back and like check in. And they were like, so how'd it go? And I was like, well, it went great. And it was, and it was, I was so fucked up that I, I remember just bits, I would black out like here and there, but like those are the parts that I remember. Okay. I liked it. This is one of the most fascinating stories I've ever heard oh, in my God. life. Oh, <laughs> God. You're like, a, <laughs> you're like a working class Jehovah's Witness. <laughs> <laughs> you're like, excuse me, do you have time to <laughs> talk about our Lord and Savior, Ron DeSantis? <laughs> He has a flyer. Vote Republican. I, I, I want to look up his name. Adam Hempstead, supervisor. Wait, how long ago was this? Oh, this was years ago. Okay. Yeah, no, this was not like... Probably a different supervisor. Uh, I don't know, because he's been on the board for quite some time. Well, you know about the uh, town of Oyster Bay town supervisor, right? How he got arrested for fraud? Did he? Yeah, he was taking uh, deli platter plates as bribes and giving people like certain parking spots or like shoveling their driveways Jesus. before other people. That's Long Island politics, <laughs> dude. Yeah, no, there's, a, he, there's another one, but the one of that time. Uh, okay, <sighs> bad. It's a bad, bad move. Town of Hempstead, boy, oh boy. It's just crazy. Like even like 25 year old me was like, this was a tremendous mistake. This was a bad idea. Okay, and he's just like. Like, you know how stupid people, they just, they have no restraint. Like, they just, they're just like, ah, there's nothing wrong with this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then just, I was like, dude, there's a lot wrong with this. <laughs> like, this is, I, this is going to be bad. Wait, who's the third kid? He was just some regular kid who, like, really does it. Hey, he wasn't regular, I'll tell you that much. Oh, he was, he was. He, he, Travis. He hated me. 
Well, that I don't know anyone that hates you. I'll tell you that much. You're probably the most likable person I know. <laughs> he, he was so upset, and I was like self conscious because I knew I looked crazy, and I was just like, "All right, well, you know, like." I was like, "Well, I, I do better when I'm talking to people," and he's like, "Yeah, because you're barely talking to me." And I was like, "Well, uh, you send me up there, I'll do it." And Wait, then, what was that kid's problem? Why was he there? I guess he he took that shit super seriously, and he was a he was a Republican uh, yeah, member. Yeah, he, he was a, he was a member of the Republicans Club. Okay. <laughs> just, What's he doing now? Who the fuck knows? <laughs> He's doing the tombstone. I remember he was like a short little dude with a bald head. And well, he, you didn't know him. No, I just met him that night, that day. Wait, oh, at the Young Republicans at the at the Republicans meeting at the Republicans group. Okay, they, they divvied us up into groups. And How much like, you get paid for this? <laughs> nothing. Okay. At that point, I wasn't going to ask for pay. Like, by the way, I'm going to need some compensation for for this. They were like, "Yeah, okay, cokehead, have you go out there?" Okay. I love how you wore the, the Islanders hat specifically for this thing. I have my Cortland sweatshirt because yeah, I yeah. know there's going to be a few fucking other trash bags listening. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's called fucking just playing to the crowd. You're the guy who goes to like Great Bar in Cortland. Like, pff, everyone here is a piece of shit. Like, you are Great Bar with us. <laughs> Yo, for you to drop Great Bar like that, that's a kid who's been to Cortland a handful of yeah, times. Yeah, yeah, Harry Tony's basement. This place sucks. Wait, yeah, there's so many other bars to reference in Cortland. Why did you reference Great Bar? Great Bar. Stone Lounge. Yo, Stone this Lounge. kid's doing some deep cuts. <laughs> Stone Lounge just got shut down for the fourth Did time? they? Third time? Did yeah, they? yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, Underage shit. drinking. Oh, damn. Okay. Hey, that's the spot, though. Remember the guy? Um, I forgot. It wasn't It wasn't any of those bars. I forgot, like, the main bar. Dark Horse. Dark Horse. Yes. Remember the hot dog Dark Horse guy? Yes. It was some homeless guy. Did you go there? How the fuck are you referring to? Every, every one of my friends went there. Okay. And I was just like, you know, and I, I I had a girlfriend in Syracuse, but like that was like, it's different when you go out on a, on a like go out to a school, but like you're with your girlfriend. It's like, you're going to have fun, but like not the most fun. Right. You're, you're still doing, it's a business meeting. So. Yeah. And she was a, she was a full ride scholarship with like chemical engineering. So she was like, she didn't have like party friends. Okay. Yeah. Very strange that like these, like these highly accredited people are just like, that looks like a good looking mistake. I'll go out with him. Yeah. Well, you're, you're a good looking kid. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm waiting for it to just crash. I'm yeah, gonna, yeah. I'm going to hit 40 and I'm going to look horrible. Oh, Travis, this is not a long term plan. No, yeah, no, yeah. no, it's not. No. It's going to look bad. It's no. going to look really bad. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I mean, right now it's still doing well. But boy, is it going to crash one day. I mean, I look at old headshots. I'm like, ooh, here, there, I already see it. That's <laughs> the saddest sentence I've ever heard. Uh, yo, I, it's, oh, God. <laughs> Fuck. But, uh, yeah, no, weird. Okay, so, yeah, so the hot dog guy. Of course I remember the hot, hot dog, dog guy. guy. Okay. Yeah, hot dog guy, he would post out, post up outside of Dark Horse yes. and probably all the other bars in that area and would do dollar hot dogs. Yes. But, you got like drunk 20 year old kids like, eh, give me five. That guy would make, that guy had to make a killing. You think? You want a little secret on how he really made his money? How? Dollar hot dogs, yes. Loose cigarettes. Yeah. I that can see guy that. sold, and I wasn't counting out all of them, but from what I saw, a billion loose cigarettes. Yeah. Yeah, that guy cleaned up. Yeah. He has to be one of the richest people in New York. <laughs> in Cortland, New York. Yeah, in yeah. Oh, in Cortland, New York, yeah. You have a 20 in your pocket. You could go far. <laughs> uh, I never even got his name. Or maybe I did, but I just forgot. I don't think he had one. Yeah, he just, he's a hot dog guy. Yeah, he's just a hot dog guy. And then like drunk chicks would be like, he's here. And he would just be like, yeah, I am oh, here. Yeah. That was every night. He's probably dead now. No, I think they have a, a monument in his name. Yeah, but it would be a his shame. His son took it over. It would be a shame if you didn't give that guy a statue. I feel like he, he was kind of a staple of Cortland party life. For me, being from Syosset, Billy Joel to me was him to Cortland. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Does that make they sense? They call me trash, but you like Billy Joel? I don't like Billy Joel. I'm just saying he's the king of Oyster Bay, all right? He's the yeah, king of Long Island. He is. He Pay is. respect to the king. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't really like his music either, but he's the king. What do you want me to do? I'm in a New York state of mind. Oh. Uh, that guy, uh, I think he stopped doing it. Remember uh, Ryan Holland? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He had a fucking hilarious Billy Joel joke. How he like, got in a fight. Him and his dad fought a bunch of people at a Billy Joel concert. <laughs> Ryan Holland? Yeah. Isn't he like 5'4"? 
Yeah, I was like, hey, but I guess Long Island brings it out of you. Yeah, all right. He was from Long Island. I didn't know that. Yeah, he I didn't either. Wait a while ago. Yeah, I was upset when I saw that because he was funny. I thought he was like super funny. Yeah, but I think it was a jerk off to people. Yeah, maybe that was. Yeah, that's yeah, a factor. That. I was always nice to him, so he was, he was always nice to me. But um, yeah, I guess I did hear some things. Yeah, what are you gonna do? Eh. Uh, what was I gonna say? Syracuse. You know, my my uh, girlfriend with yeah. all those. Well, she's from Syracuse. From and actually, from there. Yeah, 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 I was th- I was there hosting the uh, the Finger Lakes Comedy Festival. Really? Yeah. What was, time was that in? Ithaca, but I was oh, like, yes, yes, yes. but I was like an hour not even away from Syracuse. Yeah, that's how it works. And like I hadn't been there since I left, and um, and so you know, just like you know, I was there for a few days, and just you know, I had like one day off, and I was like, just go back to your old stomping grounds, so it'll hook up your old friends, and then I trained my old team. It was it was nice. It was cool. Okay. And it was uh, fucked up. So, like, I saw my old team. Yep. And I haven't seen them in 10 years. Like, that was the last time I was there was when I left. I was 22. So, we were just catching up. And they were like, oh, you missed it. We had some guy, Shane, training at our place. And uh, Shane was an asshole. Like, Shane would come to practice and he would intentionally hurt people. And he was just one of those dickheads. Okay. And then uh, the, the coach was like, yo, if you don't stop that, I'm going to kick you out. You can't, we can't have you in here doing that. And he kept doing it, and they kicked him off the team. But they said before they kicked him off the team, he had like a slutty fiance. Oh, that's fun. And two, <laughs> <laughs> and two of the guys fucked the slutty fiance and took pictures. And then they took one of the pictures, and they made it into a puzzle. And they gave him the puzzle. And I was like, I was like, what in the fuck? And then he's like, he's like yeah, they t- it took him like two months to figure it out, <laughs> finish the puzzle. And then he called him. He's like, this fucking, this real? This puzzle real? And I was like, dude, you're a sick, sadistic bastard to do that to someone. I didn't even know you could get custom puzzles. I guess you can. I think you could probably just blow it up and find someone some this guy couldn't have done like half the puzzle and been like wait a minute yeah, yeah. <laughs> it took him another month to be like let me get down and you know it was like still on his table like, like, <laughs> like he just stood there it's not like he cleaned it up every time like, like you finish like three quarters of it and it's a cock and your wife like i just don't i don't get it i haven't finished I the gotta, puzzle yeah i gotta put <laughs> wait this isn't the whole story wait hold on the, oh wait a minute shit <laughs> oh fuck! Oh, that was. I was because jujitsu people are so strange. Like, yeah, that's a strange thing to do to someone. Yeah, yeah, that's sociopathic. Yeah, I was like, is. that's a perfect mix of like jock and autistic that I've ever seen in my life. Yeah, I wouldn't agree with that. I would say more <laughs> autistic yeah. than jock. <laughs> Just like, yeah, we fucked his girlfriend, but we did it in a puzzle. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, oh, like, yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah, wait till he figures that out. <laughs> Right, guys. <laughs> that just tells me everyone in this story has too much time on their hands. Oh, dude, they're, they're another. They're, they're also some goons. I'm surrounded just by goons, so it's just like that's why I'm a goon. Wait, what are you doing for work right now? It's Uber, oh, Uber, Uber okay. acting stuff. Okay. Like that. You know what I mean? I thought it was going to be more fun than that. That's not that fun. No, it's not. Okay, it's not. It's fun on the weekends. You pick up drunk, fucking crazy people. Would you go RBC? Yeah, like if you just drive around RVC, you'll make good money. Yeah. Uh, Patch Hog, just drive out there, make Patch good money. Because everything's more spread out there, so the rides are longer. Yep. And it's uh, and I just listen to like I don't know, your mom's house podcast, and people are like, "What the fuck is he listening to?" <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, "I don't care. You're drunk." I'm gonna morning. be on here one day. Yeah, all right, what? one day, one day. Oh, yeah, just you know, like feature jobs sometimes. You feature, get a feature spot. You can pay like hundred bucks or something like that. Okay, perfect. You know what I mean? I did a feature. I fucking ate dick for Where? like a half hour. It's this. Bar Long Island, they were just like it was uh, the out in Patchogue actually, and they were just, oh okay, and they were just like oh yeah, so I'm like yeah, I'll do a half hour, and like, we'll give you like 150 bucks, and then it was like, oh, that was a rough, it's a rough half hour. Yeah. <laughs> that was a rough. It was like the crowd was like in their 60s, and I was like okay, like I kind of know like the angle to take to kind of get them on board. Like it's not going to be a terrific set, but like I'll make it work. Yeah, and it was just not working, and I hit like 10 minutes, and I'm like, all right, how many people in this crowd? It's big, it's pretty big. Proud. Yeah, it was like over hundred. It was oh, one fi- wow. fifty. I would probably say okay. One, I don't know, one thirty, one fifty. I'd say, and um, yeah, no. And I was just like, well, like you know, when you try every angle. Like I'm gonna try and get them on board with this angle, or maybe and then like you try like every social situation to get them on board, and you're just like, well, I've been there. Let me just trudge through this next twenty minutes. How did the opener do? <laughs> uh, the opener, the host. Pretty rough. Everyone, the the, the headline did good. 
But, oh, okay. but he was also like the only one like in his 60s and he just kinda, Oh, there you go. He knew how to do it. And he I knew was how like, to do it. But you know, I don't even get mad at that. I'm just like, yeah, I, I would understand. Like, oh, look at this lunatic from in his 30s. I we that's I don't want to hear those stories. <laughs> like, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. That makes sense. Yeah, they're half your age. And yeah. Makes sense. What the fuck is that? That was a Zelda tone. You like that? What Zelda tone? That was a uh, Navi from Zelda. Like, hey, listen. A little fucking I was a big Zelda fan, dude. I was a big Zelda player. You're a big Zelda player? I was a big Zelda player. Okay, you're a big Nintendo guy. Yeah. Okay. Big Nintendo guy. Mm. Nah? I can't relate with you. On, uh, uh, you no. know you know what's funny? Remember like when you would have a play date with someone growing up? Yes. And they had a Sega Genesis, and you were like, ugh, this guy's trash. <laughs> Yeah. This guy's a fucking because usually people would say Genesis like their parents smoked in the house, and it was just like this fucking get me out of this dump. Like you want to play Samus? No, this place sucks. <laughs> Sega Genesis. What the fuck is going on here? I don't know. Yeah, like Sega Genesis. Uh, fucking your parents. Wait, so what's the classier version of that? I don't know. I bet you better have another system. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta. <laughs> you, be, you gotta. You gotta I know it's 1996, but you gotta get a PS2 or something. You got you, you, you got. you got a PS1, or I'll walk. I'll walk home. I don't care. This is fucking. <laughs> Sega Genesis. Jesus Christ. I had a play date with a girl. Her name was Sarah, and her brother was like big into Sega. Oh yeah, he had like every Sega system. And I was like, "Is there anything else?" And she was like, no, but my brother has tarantulas. We could play with them. And I'm like, get me out of this fucking house. <laughs> Yo, you people are fucking gross. I'm going to go hang out with my friend. You don't know him yet, but in 20 years, he's going to dig graves. <laughs> and he's better than you. <laughs> I don't care. I said what I said. What tarantulas? <laughs> tarantulas. Who the fuck? That was, your mom probably saw who you were hanging out with at that age and was like, yeah. Oh, this is gonna be a long life. Yeah, this yeah. is be yeah. It was pretty obvious, like from the beginning. Yeah, there was like she worked so hard yeah. to do so well. I think, and you're genetically Suffolk County. I think they just uh, I don't know when it was. Probably high school. They were like, all right, well, this kid, it's just this is. They pretty much are just like, all right, don't like, don't break the law too serious. Like, don't break into someone's house. Don't, okay. Don't like, you know, kill someone. Like, don't do the majors, but, like, <laughs> you're on your own. Yeah, right. Uh, petty crimes, whatever. <laughs> yeah, because there's only so long before you're like, we got to focus on the other kid and, like, make, you know, send this kid off. Wait, and, you got another uh, sibling? Yeah, very successful. Oh, wait, what do they do? She is six years younger than me. She is a interior designer at a designing firm in the city. That's good. Yeah. On paper? She, she just fantastic. She just got a rage making, like, 80K. She's 25. Okay. Nice. It's like it's like I I I was I remember she I was like yeah I was obviously I love my sister I was very proud and then she was like I just got I'm eighty k a year now I just got a raise and I was like damn man you just keep sinking lower into a hole yeah, but I'll tell you what she doesn't have a tight twenty oh, yeah. <laughs> let me see a tight twenty bitch yeah. sure you know where couches should be but have you ever performed in Bohemia <laughs> yeah architects <laughs> tell me a joke. Was she an architect? What does she do? She works with architects. Like so, like wh uh, when you show up on the work site, like there's like the engineer. She explained it to me, but okay, uh, there's like an engineer, and he's like pretty much like the guy who's like running the actual building, and then like the architect comes and like okay sees like safety measures and shit, and then she but she's also like involved in like electric shit and like stuff. Like, I don't know. You, as an interior designer. It's, like for like, 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 like no, like just like like the floor plan has to be. I'm bu I'm butchering it. I don't think she's an interior designer. She is an interior designer. <laughs> <laughs> she went to FIT. Wait, she went to FIT. She's doing electrical work. I sh again, dude. I don't dude, know what the hell's exactly. going on. <laughs> <laughs> Joe, I'll tell you one thing. She deserves the 80k. Actually, you know what? Turns out she's a grave digger too. This whole time, <laughs> this whole thing. I don't even know. It's just a full fucking circle. Where'd she? Oh, she went to FIT. FIT. FIT didn't know this until like 10 years ago. SUNY school. Is it? Yeah. Well, well thought you would know, but I guess not. Oh, I guess God. we're all we're learning all this together. Yeah, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking guy. I don't know. Really? SUNY? Yeah, yeah. I didn't know. I thought it was like its own kind of thing. Ah, SUNY's. The big SUNY's. Big SUNY guy. And she thought she was better than me. Yeah, guess what? <laughs> guess You're what? one of us, hon. You, You're wrong. You're in the <laughs> Cortland circle. You're not doing that better. She that great. She used to go to uh, ECU, and then she just like couldn't deal with the South life. That's trash. ECU is a trash. It's a fun school. Yeah, that's it's a, a trash party school. school. That's a party school. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
also coincidentally, logo, a pirate. Yeah. <laughs> what's your level of not trash? Like, what's something that you look at and you're like, that's a, that's a fine uh, establishment. I mean, that's so many things. I mean, throw an example at me. I want to like, because obviously, if I said something like Harvard, you'd be like, yeah, no, well, great. Of course. But like, what's like the what's the line? What's like the where you're like, okay, no, that's acceptable. Um, in terms of colleges, or are we just talking things? Just things. Just things. I mean, throw some examples at me. Uh, a fur coat. Like a real fur coat? What about like? <laughs> yeah, um, no, nah, th- th- obviously a fur coat would be good. Sometimes it's not though. Yeah, see, like you have you have high standards. No, it's just I'm just honest. Like if I put on a fur coat, I'm like these are the heights of luxury. Like <laughs> yes, but then you see those people. Yeah, if I saw you in a fur coat, that's <laughs> trash. <laughs> but if I go to the Upper West Side and see a woman watching someone walk her dog in a fur coat, that's tr- that's classy. Yeah, but if I'm in a fur coat, like I get stunting. I see you. I see Travis Grant in your ripped jeans and snapback hat in a fur coat. That's garbage. What if I'm walking a dog, too? I assume you were paid to walk that dog. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm out, I'm out walk, dog walking for today. Let me throw on my nice fur coat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, but, like, that's what I would imagine. Okay, so what's your... Okay, rappers wear Balenciaga. What do you think about that situation? Rapper, yes. And that... Because now we're getting into, like, new money. Okay. That's new money. New money, trash or not trash? As a whole, that's... uh, (laughs) That's such a great question. I mean, I could write a thesis on just that question alone. Is new money... I guess, like, how did you obtain it? A rapper. He's a rapper. He's talking about. Fucking- He's a rapper. It's so tough because you have like Jay Z, who's a little class. Yeah. But then you have like Bobby Schmurda, little trash. Yeah. Lil okay. Uzi Vert. He's a little trash. Yeah. You know, it's really depending on the ra- J Cole class. Yeah, J Cole's classy. J Cole's classy. J Cole's classy. Right, but like, what about Gucci Mane? Was trash. Now class. Yeah. Yes. Got a little older. And was Got like, all right, wiser. let me, let me, you know. Lost a little weight. He did lose weight. Right. He, he looks a, good now. He had a big old gut on him. Yeah, and that's when he was trash. Yeah, that's when he was kicking girls out of cars. Yes. You remember that? Yes, 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 I yes. Heard, I heard that. I was like, what in the fuck are you doing, dude? Like, kick a girl, kick anyone out of He's a moving car. Gucci. He has an ice cream cone on his face. Yeah. He does. He has a Bart Simpson chain. That's probably worth more than my house. Yeah. Or maybe well, like, I don't know. Your mom did pretty well. Yeah. Maybe it's worth just, just as... Or maybe about the same as the house. Yeah. That's, uh, dude, that thing is shining. That thing is like... I can't, you can't even look at it. I like how you're like, let me think of a few examples of what's classy, what's trashy. Rappers. <laughs> <laughs> what about... Um, okay, what about like a guy... He owns his own contracting business. So he's a day, hey, hey, what are you doing? I'm one of those guys. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. he owns, he's got like a fucking really nice house in the water. He's got a nice car. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Put his kids through college. Like he has stuff to show for it. No, it's class. That's class. That's class. Okay. 100% class. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Put the kids through college. Yeah. Got yeah. them cars when they turned uh, 17. That's class. I worked for a guy like that once. It was like one of my first jobs after pandemic. And my f- <laughs> yeah, uh, I didn't know what to expect. You're like one of my first jobs. Yeah, cause, after because I was getting the I was getting the <laughs> after uh, I was getting the uh, the unemployment. But it was like remember when they they like halved it and then they were like all right it's running out like these are like your last yeah yeah. And um, I was like oh, I should probably start getting to work again because like I'm this is gonna have to start up yes. again. And I saw a friend at a party and I was like yo I need a job this and that and we were just talking about getting another job. And he was like, "Oh, I can hook you up with this like a building job." And I was like, "Well, I don't, I don't know any. I never worked on my job. hands, yeah. like like a remodeler. Like I'm you never, want my sister? She actually does some yeah, electrical yeah, work. And yeah, she does stuff. yeah. And I was, I was like, I could just like be like the handyman who like throws shit out and just you know, like just kind of the guy, the guy who does like the lug work. Yeah. And then I went there thinking it was lug work, and I was like, it was for like a uh, like an apprentice. And I was like, wait, what? I don't know anything. An and the guy." 
the guy who I pretty much described was like, wait, do you even know what the fuck you're doing? And I was like, no, you know, you know, Jay, Jay got me the, Jay forwarded me to you with the job. I thought I was doing lug work. And he was like, oh, fuck. And he was just teaching me. He was so mad. He was so upset. Cause that guy like gorgeous house, but he was one of those like tough foreman yes. types. And he was just stuck with me for like three months. And then after the three month job was over, he was like, all right, just get the fuck out of here. Okay. Yeah. So what did you do? He had me like tarring foundations. He had okay. me. So you were doing a little lug work. Yeah, like it was like the the smallest amount of like any skill. I, I've never done anything like that ever before. He's like, here, just nail this shit together. Like pretty much like okay, stuff like that. That's fine. Yeah, and thanks for like, the paycheck, right. babe. Yeah, I was like, it was a good paying job. Okay, it was just like he just fucking hated me because people like that are just like you don't work hard, and I'm like. All right, well, fucking sorry to work on my hands. Look at my notebook. <laughs> Look at my notebook, asshole. Yeah. <laughs> How many bo- bits do you have? <laughs> Zero. Yeah, I spent Zero half bit. an hour writing this morning, all right? And he, like his son was a cool guy, but his son was like the one who's going to take over the company. Yes. But I don't think he wanted to, and he, his son just like got bitched around by the dad. Yeah. And he was like, oh, I'm sorry, I like you, but... Uh, I was so mad about it though, like the way he let me off. He's like, "All right, good, yeah, good, get to." He was like, "Pretty, like, get the fuck out of here." Once okay. the job ended, and then they were doing a job around the corner from my house. Like, I saw the vans, and I was driving by, and I was like, "Hey, Rick!" And he saw me. I was like, "Go fuck yourself!" He said that. Yeah, he was like, "Huh?" <laughs> I just drove away. That's good. I was like, good. Suck my dick. What no. are you gonna do? You're never gonna see him again until he does another house in your neighborhood. Cool. I'll beat the hell out of that guy. Yeah, dude. Yeah, fucking black belt. I'll I'll, I'll just I'll, I'll get on top of him and just beat him into a coma. What's he gonna do about it? Yeah, sue you probably. Yeah, probably sue me. Yeah, 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 yeah. probably sue me. Yeah. But you know, at the end of the day, who has more bits in their notebook? That's right. He yeah. can't host the fucking Finger Lakes Comedy yeah. Festival. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see you host, yeah, you, you fucking, fucking tough, I- you tough Irish fuck. Yeah. Oh my god. Ah. Uh, yeah, dude. It's um, that's crazy though. I do want to move though. I want to move to. I want to move to the south. You want to move to the south? Yeah. Okay. Because uh, during pandemic, you know, I was just doing a lot of you know, because New York comedy was just fucking, you yeah. know, it was just so limited. Yeah, doing it on roofs and parks like a bunch of assholes. Yeah, and it was just like, all right, and I like traveling, just seeing new things, and I was like, all right, let's just, and so me to LA, like we just went down south, Chattanooga. Like, yeah, they're there, and I started going to Florida, and I was just like, <laughs> dude, Florida is fucking. Okay, there I'll hop Because I feel like when you say something's trash, I'm always like, eh, well, it's not trash. And then you're like, yeah, well, you're trash. And I'm like, there's like a divide. Yeah. Florida is one of those places that me and Rich would be like, no, dude, that's... It's pretty, pretty bad. That's pretty trash. It's but pretty bad. God damn, you don't have any fun there. And it, uh, oh. Here's the thing. Trash gets a bad rap. Trash is not bad. Trash is not good. Trash <laughs> is trash. <laughs> that's what people are forgetting. I'm not here to blacklist or whitelist people with the label of trash. Yeah. Trash is what it is. Is Florida trash? Yes. Is Florida fun? Yes. <sighs> New Orleans was just there. Yeah. Is that trash? Yes. Yeah, you're in a swamp. Is it fun? You're in like a swamp summit. You're at, yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's an oxymoron. Yeah, swamp oh, yeah, summit. Like swamp yeah, summit. That's exactly yeah, what true. you are at. Yeah, it's like the best the best way I could describe it, right? It's everything's on a... I try to explain it to people. It's like if, if Margaritaville... Took EBT cards. <laughs> that would be New Orleans. <laughs> That's so right. And I haven't even been there. It's perfect. <laughs> that is dead on. That is exactly what it is. You walk down Bourbon Street, no one's doing well. No. 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 It's not. It's one of those places where everyone's... That's pretty crazy when you see a place like everyone's kind of on the same. Because like every, like, you know, like New York, there's people who are doing well. And there's like, eh, people, I'm over here. There's people who are not doing well. Like, I feel like West Virginia is one of those places, too. Where, yeah. Like, I mean, like, I haven't been there enough. But from, like, what I've seen, it's like, I don't think anyone here is doing that, that well. No, wait, the, what's the whole industry there? Coal? Yeah. And it's That's like, not good. It's, it's coal. Like, it's, you know? I feel like P, PA is, eh. Not all of PA, but Pennsylvania's pretty trash. Most of it. I was filming something in PA over the summer, and I had to be there. I had to go back. I was there for like four days, and then I had to go back like two weeks later for another four days. And I was like, I was in Scranton, and I was, uh, oh god, I, I, you know, nice people, but I was like, this, I don't want to be here. Imagine living there. 
and the kid, I'm not going to name names, but the kid who was, you know, directing the whole thing and he's putting the whole thing together and it was his project and, you know, he loved it, which, but, you know, if it's your project, if you're, you know, you got to, you got to have like a love, you know, or, or else why the fuck are you doing it? You know, it's gotta, it's gonna come out like shit if you don't love it. But, um, but his like loyalty to PA was just disgusting. And I was just like, this place sucks. People from PA, my sister's boyfriend from PA, mm. he's not really in this camp, but she went to a college in Pennsylvania. Yeah. They love it. They love it. They love it. Same thing from people, but like Long Islander, same thing. Yeah. I so guess, you can't shit on the PA yeah, people. Yeah, very true. I guess it's the same thing everywhere. But um, at least like, you know, people from Long Island, like we know what's wrong with us. Like we know. Like I know. We know. Yeah. <laughs> Most don't. I think, yeah, 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 very true. People who don't leave the island. Because then you got that island effect where like I could just stay here forever. And you're like, well, I wouldn't recommend it. And they're like, no, nah, I'm fine. Yeah. I'll just stay here. Well, well, what I got mean? my pizza place. I got my Chinese place. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> I got a bar. Yeah, right. Farmingdale's only 15 minutes. Yeah, it's cool. Yeah. Let well, me go I, out to the meatball place. And then they go to like the North Shore and they're just like, whoa, where the hell is this? <laughs> it's like the other side of the island. It's, it's literally just <laughs> on the other side. Well, my my girlfriend never really spent that much time on Long Island before dating me. Yeah. She only went to Sayas at North Shore. Yeah. North Shore, nice. Yeah, North Shore's very nice. We took the train on the South Shore. <laughs> and she was like, wait, this is Long Island? And I was like, yeah, babe. Yeah, that's where I'm from. <laughs> that's right. Yeah, that's where, this is where Travis Grant yeah. is from. <laughs> the land of Travis Grant. That's it. The fucking, this is RVC, the home of Dirty Taco. There are times where I've went to bars where I'm like, you like this as a kid? And I'm like, I don't even want to be here now. This is just, this is. Oh, I, the, yeah. I mean, I went to the Huntington bars growing yeah. up, which were always terrible. Yeah, but like even, I mean, there's like Nautical Mile. You ever go there? Yo. The, what the nautical mile growing up the nautical miles a perfect example of what you were asking no i worked there every summer <laughs> the nautical mile growing up was class it's now no nope. trash it's real bad both it's like real bad nice in their own way yeah you know what i mean yeah it's um i'll spend a day there you know but once it's a night it's like this is i don't like this yeah, yeah, yeah. Like Broncos is just that place oh is, down. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. But then they had that super nice one at the end of the bond, and you're like, all right, I guess that kind of makes up. That's where I went growing up. We would go there because yeah. my grandmother loved crab legs. Mm. She had her own crab crab leg cracker. We brought this up in previous episodes, yeah. but she was allergic to crab. It's a whole thing. <laughs> but we would go there for the crab legs, and that yeah. was like that was it. It was like there and the Cheesecake Factory. <laughs> Cheesecake Factory is like when you want to pretend you're not trash, but it's like, eh. yeah. If you ever put a polo shirt on to go to the Cheesecake Factory, because <laughs> <laughs> there's there's like 25 percent of people there. We're like, it's your night out. Yeah. If you never put an eyes on polo on that you got from Kohl's to go to the Cheesecake Factory, you're doing pretty well. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what are you doing on your polo one? Yeah. I took a half day off work for this. I did not christen my daughter for you not to put a polo on at the Cheesecake Factory. <laughs> and then, uh, have you ever been to uh, Club Lux? The, uh, yeah, I have been there. It's in uh, That's another the Ro uh, Roosevelt Field Mall. Yeah. Oh, my, the Cheesecake Factory people. Yeah. Fun fact. That's like, that's like when you want to feel like you're in Vegas. But you, <laughs> but you're not even in Atlantic City. <laughs> yeah, you're very much in what is that East Meadow Garden it's, City? It's like it's like a, it's a sad Atlantic City. Oh. <laughs> and you're like, what? Atlantic City is a sad Vegas. I'm even sadder than this. <laughs> Shit. If you ever wanted to feel like you went to Atlantic City, but also needed to go to pay less shoes. <laughs> <laughs> Go uh, going back to the fucking the um, uh, nautical mile. I used to work there every summer because like it's it's such a sketchy operation. Like sketchy people, they just pretty much they just rent the restaurant out. Like they buy it for the summer. I guess they they sign like a four month lease, and then it, it usually it's like new owners every summer. Most of the oh, places. Oh really? I didn't know that. Yeah, so it's like that's kind of like you know when you're you know early twenties, mid twenties, you get like bartending jobs there. You're a good looking dude. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You're, personable you'll get a job like that and you make a lot of fucking money yeah it's just kind of like a hustler type thing and then um so i remember one time i got a job 
at a bar at a bartender and uh i made good money but i wasn't like uh, eventually like towards the end of the summer like the shift pay added up like I, the guy owed owed me like like 600 bucks or something oh, or okay. five, something like that and i was like the fuck's going on with vic man it's like it's like getting pulling teeth trying to get paid yes and he was there someone was like you don't know who you work for do you and i was like uh no and they're like <laughs> and they were like you ever see uh wolf of wall street and i was like yeah and they're like you know the guy chester ming and wolf of wall street and i was like yeah they're like victor wang is chester ming like that's the real guy and i was like shut up he faked the name on the lease no well it's for the movie they just put a different name oh i got you yeah but his real name is victor wang oh interesting and i and i brought it up to him and i was like are you the real fucking the fucking guy and he's like yeah no i'm a real fucking guy he loved me but if he hated you dude oh lord dude he would ream people out like in just the most unprofessional of fashion you're telling me a guy affiliated with jordan belfort wasn't professional he would come he was just like jacked asian dude he always had just like like a cigar and he's like, he looked like a cartoon character like, <laughs> he looked he really like did. asian popeye yeah like an asian popeye and he was i remember one time we were because we were right next to tropics that's the nice place on the end of the but tropics were just they were just crushing us every weekend and they were in them so we would have to like compete with them so he put together this like fashion show so we had this whole lot and he had like a whole catwalk fashion show okay and he wanted the chairs set up in a certain way and there was this like little albino kid that was like 17 he had working for him and he set the chairs up wrong and then he comes out with his fat cigar he's like who the fuck did this and the kid's like me he's like get your fucking white red eyed freak ass out of my face oh he had red eyes too he was like 100% Yo, he was albino. a real dude oh shit and this kid just like in front of everyone and like everyone was just like what and it was just too much and the kid started crying and he ran away crying and i was just like oh vic that wasn't you didn't have to do all that yeah. that was like you're an asshole and he was and I funny th like two years later I ran into that kid he was working at a pizzeria he was still like fumbling shit and like getting it wrong and I'm like okay maybe the kid's just like a dunce yeah you can't see he's fucking albino yeah maybe <laughs> <laughs> maybe, maybe that's the problem maybe don't put the blind kid in charge of the chairs yeah maybe he's blind <laughs> why is he so clumsy it's cause he legally is blind <laughs> maybe he's fucking blind yeah Ever consider that? <laughs> he probably didn't even know who was screaming at him. Just like, who is that? Yeah, he didn't even know he was Asian. <laughs> oh my god, dude, that's fun. Jesus Christ, yeah, we did it. Oh god, uh, you have anything to plug? Uh, I just follow me on Instagram, uh, Trav underscore Grant. I'm doing your show Friday. Friday. This comes out Monday. Oh, but yeah. he was there and he crushed. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. No, I did really well. I did really well because I have a tight twenty. I'm like my sister or you know my loser ex-boss yep you know there's any, any one of those fucking schmucks yeah oh <laughs> you're only doing 10 <laughs> so yeah, don't worry yeah, yeah no. <laughs> <laughs> you're, doing, you're down to nine right. <laughs> yeah don't don't push it keep keep pushing it <laughs> all right folks 